For President Trump, it's been a week of big news abroad on Iran and North Korea. But tonight, there's a swirl of questions about statements from within his own team. White House correspondent Yami Shalcindor has our report. The White House schedule was all business. We have at this table the biggest car manufacturers in the world. A morning meeting with President Trump and auto industry CEOs and an afternoon announcement on prescription drug prices. But a series of other issues intruded, including Chief of Staff John Kelly's comments on immigration during an NPR interview. He said there should be a way for certain immigrants to be allowed to work and live in the U.S. temporarily and, quote, be on a path to citizenship. But Kelly went on with a statement that raised eyebrows. The vast majority of the people that move illegally into the United States are not bad people. They're not criminals. They're not MS-13. But they're also not people that would easily assimilate into the United States. They're uh, overwhelmingly rural people. In the countries they come from, fourth, fifth, sixth grade educations are kind of the norm. Meanwhile, the Department of Homeland Security denied that Kelly's successor as secretary, Kirsten Nielsen, had been close to resigning this week. The New York Times had reported that Nielsen almost quit after the president berated her for falling short on immigration enforcement. Mr. Trump took the opposite tack today on his EPA administrator, Scott Pruitt. He is still under fire over potential ethical lapses and spending issues. Thank Mr. President, you. do you still have confidence you. in Administrator Pruitt, Mr. President? Yes, I do. Thank you. White House aide Kelly Sadler also came under criticism today. She reportedly dismissed Senator John McCain's opposition to CIA nominee Gina Haspel. McCain has brain cancer, and several news accounts quoted Sadler as saying, it doesn't matter, he's dying anyway. McCain's daughter, Megan, responded on The View. I don't understand what kind of environment you're working in when that would be acceptable, and then you can yes. come to work the next day and still have a job. The White House today refused to confirm Sadler's comment, but did say she still works for the White House. It did previously put out a statement saying, quote, we respect Senator McCain's service to our nation. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Yami Shalcendor.